Hi everybody, welcome back to Final Fantasy VII. Um, so, uh, I felt kind of bad about how little it seemed like I got done on the last episode. I pretty much just went up, watched the cutscene with Buganagan, and then came down here and watched the cutscene at the fire. So, I went outside and I grind. I did some grinding. Um, not a whole lot. Um, I gained everybody about a level and a half, and uh, my fire and cure materials leveled up. Um, I'm actually really behind on my materia. Like, normally when I play through this game, like, I grind the shit out of my materia and get it good and leveled before I, like, do almost anything. So, <laughs> I'm actually feeling a little bit behind. But the fact that I got beta early on kind of makes up for it. Um, and, you know, what Aqualung and all that. Uh, but anyway, um, so we're about to go to one of my least favorite dungeons, uh, the, uh, G Cave, or G Cave, I don't really know how people like to pronounce it, but, you know, whatever. Um, alright, and here we go. Yep. Yes, we shall. We shall go. Right I love the sound effects in this game. I just... I gotta nerd out about it sometimes. When I first played the game, I was like, Ooh, is he gonna join my party? Is he gonna be like a super powerful wizard? What's going on here? It's crazy that I remember that. <laughs> And the music gets really quiet here. It's kind of spooky. All right, here we go. That doesn't sound good, does it? All right. All right, let's explore. Break it open, obviously. And random encounter. <laughs> Actually, that's not random. I think you get those automatically if you bust one of these things open. Alright. Now, if I'm lucky, I'll get death sentence from these guys, but I'm not really motivated to learn it, so if I get it, I get it. If not, whatever. Oh, yeah, when I went outside, I got in battle with the little penguin things that jump on you. I forget what they're called. Um, and they furied all my characters, and I don't have any tranquilizers to cure it, so... I'm gonna have lots of limit breaks, but I'm gonna take more damage and, uh, deal more damage and miss a lot, so... That's okay, because I got Eris with me, and she'll keep everybody nice and healthy. I really, really want a new sword for Cloud. I'm getting really sick of the hard edge. Just because I've had it for so long. There goes ice, yay! Alright. Um, there's a lot of good shit to get in here, actually. There's a, a really good weapon for Kate Sith. And a, um... A couple of really nice materia as well. with that. Oh, poison? Come on. What? Oh, god. Yeah, the accuracy lowering effect of uh, fury can be really rage inducing sometimes. Check everybody's limit breaks. I'm 
really surprised nobody else is. Yeah, no, nothing. I'm totally not used to playing through the game like this. Like, the no gill thing, yeah, but the whole not grinding the shit out of everybody and getting overpowered anyway. Not used to that. Um, so that top tier that you see up there where that materia is on the far left, uh, I can only get to that from another room, so I'm going to actually have to wait on that. This can be kind of nasty. Oh, here we go. Am I gonna... Okay, cool. Yeah, we got death sentence, so though I'll probably never use it. God, it really feels like this game's gonna take me forever to let's play. It's probably gonna get up to like a hundred episodes or some shit. But I am okay with that. No, really, I am. Totally. So I love this game. Um. Yeah. I plan on doing a no guild playthrough of Final Fantasy IX. I'm sure I've mentioned that in an earlier episode. But, uh, that's gonna be a ways off. Because I don't want to do two back-to-back -back Final Fantasies, so that would be... I feel like that would be a little... a little much. Um... Yeah, no gill of uh, Final Fantasy IX is actually very difficult. Um... I don't know why, um, actually. I think it's because of how much more reliant on gear you are in Final Fantasy IX for your stats. Because in Final Fantasy IX you have the traditional, like, uh, weapon, head, body, uh, legs, or boots rather, I guess I should say, um, accessory, you have all those things. So. Um, gloves, I think. Yeah, you have gloves too. Or arms, whatever you want to call them. So not being able to spend money and buy that shit, and like, I can't, you can't use the synth shop, you can't use, uh, Chocobo, uh, Chocobo Hot and Cold. Like, none of that is available to me in a no-go playthrough of Final Fantasy IX, so... Yeah. Kinda nasty. Um... Everyone here is a ghost of the Gi tribe, killed in a certain battle. A certain battle? And Cosmo Canyon just sits on top of this, yeah? It's really weird that, like, Cosmo Canyon is, like, this, like, hippy-dippy, you know, science-y place of knowledge and peace and everything like that but then just sealed in its basement is the ghosts of the people that they were warring against x number of years ago like just, i don't know did anybody else find that unsettling i don't know it's it's kind of weird uh hmm. What was I? What did I come here to do? Material, maybe? No. I am about to get some cool material, though. Um, I get gravity in here as well as uh, added effect. Uh, both of which are amazing. Um, gravity, not so much. I wish gravity was amazing. Cause I like the idea and the concept of the gravity magic and materia, but um, in practice, it's just not that good. I mean, it is on some things. For random encounters, it's fantastic. Of 
cloud, tanking it like a boss. Die already. Ooh, and tentacles. Uh, those basically use bio, I think it is. Maybe it's bio too. Whatever they do, they hurt. Uh, the encounter rate in here is atrocious, so I apologize for that. Hopefully it doesn't... Hopefully I actually get to the boss inside of the episode, but who knows. Jeez. Well, that fucking blows. Um... Come on, kill him. I don't want to use Beta or Aqualung because it just chews through so much fucking MP. There we go. But yeah, um, I'm really excited about my uh, Deus Ex long play that I'm going to be doing after this. Um, obviously, I've, I'm going to do two more episodes of this after this one, and then I'm going to move on to that. It's going to be it's going to be a busy weekend. This entire like next several weeks are going to be just crazy, insanely busy. I'm not looking forward to it in a lot of ways, but you know. Just because of the move to Pittsburgh, I'm really... I'm excited and I'm nervous, because it's just... I've never done this big of a move before. Where I literally know nobody. And it's not a place that I've... I've, I've been there once now. Um, you know. It's just, uh, it's kind of scary. Not gonna have any kind of support network, no friends. You have to network everything from scratch. It's just, you know, it's just one of those things. And I'm already not good at that. Like, I don't know. Yeah, I get death sentence on both enemy skills now. Good stuff, I suppose, even though I don't really care about the ability. Jesus Christ, will you die, please? Oh God, I can't stand the encounter right in here. It it really is bad. Um, let's see. I guess I can go ahead and yeah, just do that. Oh, I already opened that shit. It's a shitty feeling knowing you you probably only have so many steps for your next random encounter, and like you waste one of them because you go back to do something you didn't need to do. Uh, uh, God. Oh, Jesus. You guys suck. What the fuck are those skulls any anyway? They look like fucking... Sorry about that noise. I was scooting forward in my rolly chair. Adjust the mic here for a second. But yeah, what the fuck are those skulls with the death sentence? They look like fucking HR Geiger alien skulls. 
weird. I, I never, I never did understand that. I'm gonna go all the way around again because I didn't go the other way before. Uh. I'm really feeling the whole not having very good weapons right now. Ah, uh, God. Please kill this motherfucker. Damn. Does anyone else wonder if those things are... Um... What even are those? Sneaky step? Does anyone wonder if those, like, used to be Red 13s? people like if they're like zombie versions of his species sometimes i wonder if uh if that's the case because it looks like it could be ouch i couldn't be buggered to fucking walk all that shit All right, I gotta figure out what I want to do with that because I do want to do something with that because that's a pretty sweet piece of materia. Do I have anything that is? Hold on. I got transform. Throw. What's this? Um, yeah, I guess that's really all I have. Um, okay. Alright. It's here. Yeah. Now we're doing it. Um, effect, okay. I do want to keep steel on somebody. Um, Uh, lightning's been leveled up the longest, so I'll just get rid of lightning for now. Keep steel on red 13, and... Does she already have a sense? No. Why does she have death blow? It makes no sense. But, uh, on the other hand, I don't really care. Um, actually... No. Okay, I'm just gonna... Eh, I don't know, though. Um... Yeah, whatever. Do I really need to level up sense? I don't need to level up sense. Fuck that. Um. Uh, okay then. Um, I'll... Alright, um, I'm done lolly lollygagging here. Took a lot of damage in that fight, shit. Um, okay. Now we get to slide over that weird bronze chocolate piss poo goo. Bronze chocolate piss poo goo. Should that be the title of this episode? I have to walk over this, goddammit. Alright. Damn, covering ground. I like it. Fuck yeah. I always wanted to know, is that lava down there? What do you guys think that is? Is that lava? Like blood? Is it blood lava? Sorry, I just on the mic again. Hopefully you guys can't hear it. As you can uh, see, this cave leads back... Leads to the back of Cosmo Canyon. And I don't know why I'm talking like this is an ASMR video, but... Um, it was unfortunate that the gi were larger than us. They were also a lot more soft-spoken, and they ASMR'd much better than we did. And, uh, yeah. Are you creeped out yet? Let's move on. <laughs> I've always wondered if I would be good at those. I don't, I don't know. I know I've used that voice briefly in other episodes, uh, but I don't think I've ever listened to it. That uh, must be really weird. Oh, man. 
Kill those motherfuckers. Come on. Let's do let's do it. Let's come on. Let's get some blood. Don't you triple attack me, you motherfucker. I'll triple my I don't know. I'll triple my dick in your mouth. Is that is that good for a garish testosterone fueled threat? I don't. I don't even know what the fuck you call that. I'm gonna sip my beverage. How's that sound? Good stuff, good stuff. I know nobody's watching, but I'm gonna pretend there's people watching and just just say that I love hanging out with you guys. I, I really, like, I hope you're having fun with the Let's Play, and I hope that, you know, if you're watching this because you love Final Fantasy VII, and I don't know why else someone would watch this. Maybe curiosity if they haven't played it, but, you know, I hope it's taking you back and you're enjoying some nostalgia and intrigue as I, you know, mosey through this game with no gill. <laughs> uh, I can't remember how I get back there, I think. Uh, no. Come on. Jesus. What the fuck? Ah, oh my god, there's one of those tunnels that's supposed to go off to the side and around so you can get that juicy treasure chest down there. I don't know. Ooh, back attack. Okay, you guys. No, no! God, I forgot that. I forgot that fucking circle is confirmed for a second. Damn it. Uh, I don't know why I did that. This probably isn't even going to do that much damage, but. Uh, it crushy fire breath. The things that um, people did with bit crushed sounds in older games always have struck me as cool. The way they can emulate sound effects with just simple bit crushing. Um, bit crushing for anybody who doesn't know. Nobody minds me getting all, like, sound, music, elitist, know-it-all here. Um, bits are basically, um... Hmm, how can I describe this? When you have a music or a sound file, um, it's measured in, um... You know, the data that makes it up, uh comprises um, bits and hertz, and hertz obviously measure the frequency. Um, I think everybody knows that. Uh, bits are amplitude, so um, basically um, the fewer the bits, um, that extra amplitude, um, you're basically shaving off the... Well, no, you're not really, because that's, that's clipping distortion. But, um, it basically replaces the upper levels of amplitude in a sound file with um, with noise, basically. Same kind of thing as like if you get static or if you use like pixel noise in like Photoshop or something like that. It's the same kind of effect for, for music. Uh, I know that's probably not 100% accurate. It's not like a textbook definition or anything. But um, that was horribly pointless. How the fuck do I get down there? Why can't I remember? It's really bothering me. Fuck it. Um, but yeah, that's what Big Crushing is. And it creates that crunchy, sort of hollow sounding crunchy uh, that you get in a lot of video games for sound effects. And, um, you know, it's really cool. Damn it. Urgh, fuck. Why did I use White Loom with Cloud? Why did I do that? That was dumb. I didn't 
wasn't even poison him. Ugh. Oh, shit, I've actually gone way over on time. Well, um, I hope you guys have enjoyed the long episode. Um, I'm, I guess I just got distracted talking about how much I love you guys and hope you're having a good time watching this. And, um, you know, if you are watching, thank you very much, because, you know, as I've said many times before, this has been a dream of mine since I was, like, real really little and um yeah so we'll see where it goes and uh i hope you're enjoying my journey to see where it goes and uh i hope you're also enjoying me slaughtering frogs anyway i'll see you guys next time